So we just found the Cyclones at the RV show and we, he walked around, we walked around the corner and Devil was like, oh my god, it's a Cyclone. That was like a really big one because ours is like really big. And I think it's right here. We gotta go inside of it, like right now. Let's go, come on. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is it, this is it, this is it, the 4014. Hi. Good, how are you? Okay, so this is the kitchen area, and this is fir our first time ever seeing this. And I, whenever I saw the prototype, because the person that we, one of the people that we're working with, he actually like walked us through and FaceTimed us, and so we were able to see it all on camera. And this kitchen is significantly larger in person than it is online, but they're gonna add a flip top counter right here, so we'll have a little bit more counter space. But the counter space goes all the way over here, and I think that, are they gonna, this is like a chalkboard and they're gonna add more counter, like a more pantry over there. But these cabinets are pretty, pretty nice. So this is like, would be our pantry area. So that goes up really high, but this would allow, like would be where we're put all of our food at, I guess. And there's more storage down here. So it goes this whole length, which is nice. It's not as deep as our current camper, but there is still a ton. And then there's like the storage underneath the sink. So that's a pretty large area. We put like our instant pot and stuff there and a ton of drawers, which is nice. Cause I, I don't really like how wide our drawers are now. And we have a lot more, I don't know. This is nice. So there's seven drawers, there's seven. Do they all work? I mean, I, no, no dummy drawers. No dummy drawers. Yeah, they, they all work. I think. Yeah, they all work. Um, looks like that's not storage. So this is a convection oven. So the microwave is not going to be a convection microwave. Look at this four burners, and they're all not close together. So in our current camper, there's only three burners, and you, it's almost impossible to use two burners at once. But we would be able to use all of these. I'm really excited about that. So there's a ton of space in here and it looks like there's more storage over here. So this would probably be where we keep some of our uh, Wi-Fi supplies and our homeschool yeah. stuff, that sort of thing. And what is this? Oh, the it's control panel. Yeah, the control panel. That's, that's for you. <laughs> um, let's see if these actually work. What would we keep in here? We'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll find something to put that It here. will be useful. Oh, that's just like a... That's a cheese box? Yeah. It's nice that it's hidden, though. Ooh, a JBL. Did you see that? Ooh, JBL sound system. Yeah. Nice. All right, do you want to go see the... I think... Right, let's do the master oh, bed. Oh, we should probably do the rest of the kitchen over here. Okay, so apparently they are going to break this wall down for hours and do a pantry right here but there is this storage right here and this storage right here there's a carbon monoxide detector and this flips up for additional counter space which would be really nice especially when you know we cook dinner and i like to fix plates for everybody i could just put everybody's plates right here i don't know how to put it back down go we'll figure that out too yeah maybe, maybe not right now but I'm really excited for, we can figure that out later. But I'm really excited for the dining room table. So we, in a lot of RVs, you have to choose if you want a sofa that fits everybody or a dining room table. And we have two sofas and a dining room table. So I'm crazy. I am, I am crazy excited about this. And then over here, there's going to be like a hutch area, so we can store all of our filming supplies, that sort of thing over here. There's pretty decent sized cabinets. This doesn't look like it's super accessible, but still. Um, should we do the master bedroom? Let's do the master. Oh, okay. Okay. So is my arm. All right. So we go up the stairs, and here is the main bathroom so this looks pretty big oh my gosh all right so they did say that there was a tub i feel like i need to take a picture and send this to addison because look at that i can take a bath i can take a bath now <laughs> this is gonna be nice 
And I can only fit part of my body in here and I might not be able to get out, but okay. What is this? Open and close. Oh, in case you need to get to what? Your plumbing. Oh. You don't have to cut holes or something? How come other RVs don't have this? There's not a ton of storage in the bathroom. Um, oh, that actually goes back further. Look at this. So the drawers go back behind this. So look how deep the drawers are in comparison to how far back it goes. I wonder if this is, yeah, it goes back pretty decently far. And then that's pretty decent storage. So we'll have to switch out some things from our current bathroom um, because we definitely have a little bit more storage in our current bathroom, but we'll get that figured out. All right, master bedroom. Mm -hmm. This mattress is actually really nice. All right, so this is the dresser. This pulls out and it has store like hidden storage back there but you could also use this as a desk space which is super i thought i feel like that's super so this is our dresser you get these drawers and i get these drawers i get what you get these ones look at these nice drawers they really look these are the special ones and these are the ugly ones so i'll give you the i'll give you the special ones <laughs> no no <laughs> 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 be like no i'll let you put all your stuff in here i'll get the leftover <laughs> okay okay if you insist all right so i guess this is where the washer and dryer will go um yeah there's washer and dryer hookup right there that's a lot of space which that is, really is a nice. lot of space yeah so we could do all might be able to stack the washer and dryer in there yeah we'll have to stack it and then this is our master closet i don't really love this because it's really close to the bed but when we have our queen size bed we'll have more space this is not my favorite how yeah this is not my favorite you can't really get in here but no we have clothes and everything yeah well with everything else we can figure it out and modify it and we can make it work yeah but there's a lot of storage in here so that's kind of nice it looks like some of it's through storage so cool is there storage underneath the bed um i heard that there is yes oh nice oh that's actually quite a bit too nice. so this actually rolls I, I don't know if this is rolled all the way back i don't know if the, yeah, the power's we on. have no power okay and then over here this is kind of cool uh there's plugs and then little shelves over here like bedside shelves and then a dometic thermostat in here also so all in all this is pretty nice i feel like it's a little bit smaller than our current camp our current master bedroom it is but i feel like everything else you have you have to have give and take with a camper so you can't you're never going to have everything and we don't really spend that much time in the bedroom anyways so one thing i do love is that there is bathroom access from the bedroom so that we don't have to leave in a towel and then also in the middle of the night we could just go in the bathroom well you say we but that's you <laughs> we're <laughs> the rest of the bathroom so well <laughs> i'm more thinking about instead of i know we all just in here are they like instead of like okay never mind oh laundry yes 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 laundry <laughs> yes laundry day laundry day <laughs> so but it has the two doors so there's this door both sliding doors yeah they're both pocket sliding doors Uh, yeah, so they're both pocket sliding doors, which is nice, but I love this like Little entry I don't situation, understand. but I love this little like entry situation. So um, Yeah, this is really nice All right, is there is that storage right there? Oh That's really nice that there's storage right there That's gonna really come in handy That's gonna be that's what that'll be a perfect place to like put my Kindle and like all my just that's where things will go to get lost <laughs> all right <laughs> Dude, it's true though it's true all right you want to go see the toy hauler okay the kids are going to be really excited about this it's really dark back there is it 
I'm, I think we can open a window or something. Oh, I'm gonna go look at, so this, there's two loft areas. I'm gonna go look at this one. Oh, this is tiny. This is teeny tiny. We probably would want to uh, take this down because it connects the other loft area or this would be really great for storage. So I guess we'll have to go see the other loft area. So, so I have to go see the other loft area. All right, so one cool thing right away about this is that they're actually... The best part about this camper. There's a lot of best parts, but this is one of my favorites is there's two full-size bathrooms. So there's two showers, so we will not have to share a shower with the kids anymore. So that's really, really awesome. So this is the full size shower. I'm gonna, it's really dark, but. I did not I mean, have the power turned on in this one. I mean, my head hits the top, but this is perfect for kids. Um, perfect shower, it's got the yeah. rubber floor. Yeah, that's a perfect shower for kids. And then the sink is out here. So the one kid could be using the bathroom and getting a shower and the other kids could be brushing their teeth. So actually, I feel like it's a little bit more functional having... And the kids can tell on each other for not washing their hands. They, it's they got will be, they will very be a, reliable. There will be a lot of tattling on TJ. I'm going to open this, actually. There. Make it more light. There will be a lot of tattling on TJ. I don't know what we would possibly put up there. I think up here, I would love to knock the back wall out into the loft to have mm -hmm. that accessible from up there. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so this is the loft area. So we'll probably Addison really wants this area. So we'll probably I don't know, there's a ton of room in here. This is huge. It's a 14 foot garage, and that goes. And the patio goes down too. This is awesome. All right, the kids so, are going to have a ton of space in here. Overall, what would you give it? Um, on a scale of one to ten. One to ten. Um, I would say I'm a I'm a critic, so it's really hard for me to give something a ten. Um, so I think I would probably give it an eight and a half. I don't like how the closet area is a little bit hard. I don't like. I would probably give it an eight and a half. I don't really like how the closet area is kind of cramped with the bed, and I don't really love how small the kitchen is i would prefer a little bit more kitchen space but i feel like overall this is you have to have give and take you're never going to have all the things that you need in a camper everything all the things that you want but this is the most amount of things that have been packed into one camper that i've ever seen and so which is perfect for a full-time living i mean the two full showers the two full bathrooms a ton of space back here for the kids this toy hauler is the largest toy hauler that I've ever seen. And then there's the back patio that pops down so the kids are gonna have a crap ton of space. Um, so I'm super excited about it. I think the kids are gonna be excited about it. And I'm, it feels good to actually be in here and start planning where we're gonna put things. <laughs> so. Your favorite part about this camper? Uh, my favorite part about this camper is that there are two couches. So all of us, there's five of us, but we could all squeeze together. We can get an extra chair or something. So all of us could sit down and watch on the couches and watch TV. And also there's a dining room table. We have not had a dining room table in a long time. And I'm so excited to have the dining room table. Also, I'm really stoked about that back patio. Cause I just picture myself like sitting on the back patio and like drinking coffee and getting work done and that sort of thing. So I'm super excited about that. And um having the second shower i think actually that's probably my number one thing is the second shower oh and the bathtub i really like the bathtub the thought of getting a bath even though it would only like cover half i could either get a bath with my legs or a bath with my body you know my torso so um but the second full shower it's a very time consuming process for all of us to get showers at night so i'm thinking tankless water heater <laughs> I look at you, Dub. Yeah. <laughs> they don't make them for this one. Huh? They don't make them for this camper. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sure that we can figure it out. Um, but I think that, that would be awesome to not have, because right now we have to cycle through and all five of us getting showers is just kind of a chore. So I really love that. I want to go look at the outside storage too, because that's not something that we've seen a lot of. But this is incredible. This is, oh, there's the ladder. 
What's in that container? Okay, I'm gonna climb up the ladder. Yeah, this is not very big and Addison's not gonna be able to sit up in here. I honestly, so Addison says she wants this loft area, but I don't think she's actually going to like it. We'll see. We'll um, bring her out here. Huh? We'll bring her here and see what she says. Yeah. I think it'd be a lot nicer if we knock that wall out. And, yeah. Um, Although that would be really nice to have all that extra storage. Right, but I think I think they'll prefer the more room and we can figure mm -hmm. out storage later. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, this is amazing. And there's an air conditioner in here too, which is really nice because there's not one in the kid's bedroom now. No, I'm excited about this. And there's heater vents in here too, right? Yeah, in the ceiling. Because not all toy haulers have the heater vents. Well, those are uh, AC vents. So. Oh, are there heater vents in here? We do have a heater oh, vent here down here underneath the sink. Mm -hmm. Are there any more or just the one? I think it's just the one. No. Well, wow, this is our air conditioner vent. But they've got a nice sound system back here. Oh, is there? That's what these are. Oh, the, the kids are gonna love that. The kids right. are gonna love that. 